Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I've been sitting here probably a good 15 minutes or more trying to think what did I do today that was exciting? You know, we do live lives that have hardly anything happening in them and, and I was thinking, that I was asking Jim, what can I talk about? Like I do a lot of times. So I won't waste your time and I just want to say hi and let you know I'm okay and we're okay everything's good here and I was watching a few videos today but I was watching videos on mealworms I'm interested in having mealworms I um, saw different ways of how they raise them most people suggest that you have like a three drawer system there was one that I watched a long time ago where they didn't take the beetles out from the mealworms and the in the pupa and but in the ones that I watched today they said that the the beetles would eat the pupa and so would the mealworms so you want to uh -huh. separate them the larvae yeah um so we're gonna have to see and I think I'll do the three drawer thing if I do it and I did throw a couple of sunflower seeds in a pot and I thought, because I was giving the chickens some sunflower seeds, so I threw some in a pot and I thought, well, if you're going to grow, you'll grow while they're growing. And so I put the pot outside for a little while today, even though it's only like 34, 35, 36 degrees. It's not very warm, but it's not going to freeze. And I thought, well, this way they won't get leggy on me because that's what happens when they blossom or they grow too soon. The plants start to get leggy and weak. And they, I don't have grow lights. I've never had grow lights on anything. And you usually can't plant anything here until the end of April, the beginning of May. And sometimes the end of, well, actually the end of, end May, of May, not even the beginning of May. It's, usually. it's the end of May, just before June, because we could get another frost. You never know. And I'm waiting for the peepers to get frozen a couple times. I haven't heard them yet, so that's probably too early for them. They're probably more in the end of March. So this, I'm looking for spring things, and I haven't seen any special birds that would be flying around that come in and um, tell me there's spring. I haven't even seen any robins, and we do have winter robins here, but I haven't seen any robins, and so and I haven't smelled any skunks because usually when you smell a skunk, yeah. you know spring is really close. So we haven't smelled any skunks. So that's it for today. Hope you had a good day. Hope your spring gets there soon. It's supposed to be early this year. But, you know, six weeks is six weeks. There was something else that was like that. You know, um, something is something. What's the saying? Uh, something about the old man. No, what old man? I... <laughs> I don't, the I don't know. Um, oh, the the helicopter ride. Oh yeah, fifty dollars is fifty dollars. I could tell you that joke. There was it was a story. Well, it was about this helicopter guy that was working at the fairgrounds, and his wife, this eighty year old man, and this eighty year old lady went to the fair, and she really wanted to go up into that helicopter. And the old man was saying, it's $50 to go up in that helicopter. That's too much money. We can't afford it. And the helicopter guy was hearing them bicker back and forth about how expensive it was and how she really wanted to go up in that helicopter. So the helicopter guy told him, told them that I will take you up, but I don't want to hear a word come out of your mouth. If, because either, if, one. either one of you. Because if you do... It will cost you the $50. Otherwise, I'll just take you up for free. So they looked at each other and thought, hmm, that's a pretty good deal. So they went up in the helicopter, and while they're up there, he, the, the helicopter guy decided he would show them some fancy work, and so he did some loop-de-loos. And, you know, on the helicopters, the doors are opened a lot of times. You see them hanging out on TV shows, how they hang out. Well, they go loop-de-loo and all around, and there's not a sound coming out of the two of them. And um, 
the helicopter guy, after he gets done doing his, all his fancy work, he, he, he brings the helicopter back down to ground. And the little old man gets out. And he goes, well, where's your wife? And he goes, oh, she fell out way back there. And he goes, why didn't you say anything? He goes, $50 is $50. Okay, that's it for today. Have a great day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.